Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video in our Learn Full Spot With Me series. Last time out, we looked at the search data pane and how we can build our visualizations using natural language query. This time we're going to look at what, what we do once we build those visualizations. So how do we save our searches as content? So as either answers or pinning them to live boards. So I've got a view here, which is just quantity purchased by item type, a simple view. And to save this as an answer, I can simply click on these three dots here, go to save, put in the name we want and any description, make sure we make it discoverable so it can be searched by other people and we can save the answer. So now if we go to our answers tab, we can see that total quantity purchased by item type is there at the top of the, uh, there, there at the top of the page because it's the most recently modified answer. If we select here, we can then click share and we can share with any groups uh, or users or by email that we want to share this answer to. Uh, we can also apply any tags as well. So any tags that exist in your Fortspot instance can be applied to this um, answer that can also then be searched in the homepage. So as we showed in a previous video, we can also search any answers from the homepage, either in this box or in the list down below as well. So if we go back into this answer, uh, we can also, as shown briefly before, pin this answer to a live board. Now a live board is a uh, similar to a dashboard in traditional BI tools. It's where we can have a collection of different answers uh, that can all be interacted with on, on, on kind of one page. Uh, so if we go back into the answer and click pin here, we can then pin this uh, to any existing live boards in our ThoughtSpot instance that we have access to. And we can also create a new live board. So in this case, I'm just going to create one called first live board. Demo. And I'm going to pin that here. So we can now see that this total quantity purchased by item type is pinned uh, to our new live board. So we can we can put as many answers as we want in here or any, any any amount of searches. So if we go here, this is just one I created earlier, which is sales by store um, and filter to the top 10. If we pin this to my first live board as well. And refresh here. We now have two charts um, on the same page in, in our live board. So we have some options here. We can rename, edit, we can show some underlying data and download as a PNG spreadsheet or CSV as well. Um, we can also edit the details of the live board itself. So in this button here, if we click a little pencil, we now have some options on how to interact with our, with our live board. So we can add additional tabs if we want. Um, so a live board could have multiple tabs. Um, we can add any notes. So if there's any text that you wanted to add to the to the page, we can do that here. We can also add filters. Um, so as an example, I'm just gonna select region here. I'm gonna make it a multi-select filter and I'm just gonna make sure it's applicable to all our sheets here. Click apply. And we can save here. If I just select Midwest as an example, we can now filter uh, both charts and tables. So these stores are only Midwest stores and we're looking at items only in, in Midwest stores as well. We also have the ability as we do in the search pane to drill down on any uh, charts within um, our live board. So if we right click any data point and click drill down, we can select our um, our field that we want to drill down to. In this case, from store, we just want to drill down to, uh, let's drill down to uh, product. Now we can see a list of products by that store that we just selected. 
to simply go back, we click this back button here, and we can see our original view. So very straightforward, uh, very intuitive. We also have some options up here for the live board itself. Um, so we can make any copies, we can rename, we can download as PDF. We can also present, which is very useful if you wanted to present a PowerPoint style um, presentation of your live board, um, which is very useful. Um, we also have the option to schedule. Um, so as an example, we can schedule this report to go out on a specific schedule. So we could do it every week on a Monday at nine o'clock, for example, and you can select who we're going to uh, send that to in the recipients bar here. So there you go, a quick introduction to live answers and live boards and uh, how you interact with your content on, on your ThoughtSpot instance. Um, I'll be back soon for, a, for another video. Uh, have a great day, everyone.